Hi everyone, I'm Simon, welcome. Today we're talking about the go-go bar and some of the Mama-san tricks. If you're watching this video, you already know about go-go bars and Mama-sans. If not, pop and look at the basic series I've done and then come back. So, so many go-go bars around. Firstly, a good go-go bar. How do you spot them? Well, they're full of very attractive girls and they've always got customers. They're the busy go-go bars. Why are they busy? Because they've got good Mama Sans. And I say Mama Sans. So let's talk about, we'll, we'll picture this, a go-go bar that's busy, two Mama Sans. Loads of girls, so say a third of them will be dancing, a third of them will be break, and a third will be with customers talking. If it's a good bar, two Mama Sans, why two Mama Sans? Well, one will be at the back of the bar coordinating the girls, breaks, dancing, costumes, talking to customers. The other Mama San front of house. The Mama Sans are working together. Now let's quickly talk about money. Go-go girls. Normal go-go bar, I would I'm gonna assume, because it's years since I've been there, but I'm gonna assume it's say 8,000 baht a month basic wage from the bar. Now if it's a topless or naked dancing bar, they'll pay the girls more money. So say 10,000 baht for a girl that will do naked dancing. So all the girls are on a basic salary. The Mama Sans, good Mama San, usually 40 years of age or up, it's gonna be on about 20, 25,000 baht. That's it, basic, bang. Now those Mama Sans have been go-go dancers, they've been in the beer bars, they've done the apprenticeship, they know the score. And they're hard, very hard business women. Male Mama Sans, I haven't seen one, but very hard business women. So the girls are actually earning more money than the Mama Sans because they're getting bar fined. Let's say they're charging a customer 3,000 baht for a short time and they're getting maybe five a week 15,000 baht a week that's 60,000 baht a month the Mama San's only getting 25,000 baht a month hmm a good Mama San knows all those girls she's employed them she's sacked some every one of those girls knows that the Mama San will increase their income if they play ball. So the girls will give a kickback to the Mama Sans. 10%, 25%. The really top, good looking, go-go girls, they can dance, they're good looking, and they're really friendly with the Mama San. And they do tricks. They'll do double acts, two girls together, They'll do fantasies, they'll do anything the customer wants. Those top girls are real hard professionals and they work very closely with the Mama Sam. The Mama Sam will line their jobs up. She will keep customers waiting until those girls are available to get the most in her own pocket. When you come into a go go bar, if it's got two Mama Sams, that front of house Mama Sam will come and talk to you. Have you noticed that when you've been in? She might not get straight to you, but she will at some point get to you. She's doing the scoring. Just the same as that other video I did about beer girls, beer bar girls have scoring system on you. The Mama Sam, she's doing it, but she's even more professional. She can do it in seconds. She's eyeing up your clothes. She's smelling you. Aftershave, yes, no. Deodorant. Do you smell nice? She'll look at your nails, she'll look at your hair, she'll look at everything on you in a matter of seconds. Then she'll talk to you. She'll work out what country you're from. Are you overweight? Are you slim? Are you young? How old you are? She's just working out how fat your wallet is and how likely you are that night while you're there to pay bar on one of the girls and what sort of girl you're after. She'll ask you some questions. She'll get an idea. 
Now, if you turn out to be the one that she thinks is the golden egg, the top number one, and you have given an indication that you want a girl or more, I guarantee suddenly she'll go away, but within minutes, the top girls are all on the pole right in front of you, dancing. The girls that were sat with you talking to you will disappear. The Mama San will maybe even buy you a drink. It happens. She'll want to create a bit of excitement in the bar to get you in a good mood. So she might suddenly get one of the buckets with the ping pong balls in. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned it. You can buy a bucket with ping pong balls in. Maybe it's 500 baht. You throw the balls on the stage, the girls all clamber over them and for every ball they get, at the end of the day, they get 20 baht money. The Mamerson might even throw a free bucket of balls onto the stage, not charging the customer, but the girls won't get it. That's a freebie. They won't get anything for that. But it causes excitement in the go-go bar and it gets you people, customers, in an upbeat mood. Things start moving a bit faster in the bar. The Mamo San's just lining you up with the girls in front of you. Those girls are already making lots of contact with you, with their eyes and their body. If you haven't bitten at that point and asked the bar find one of those girls, the music finishes, one of those girls will be down sat with you. And the Mamo San will then come up and ask you to buy her a drink and maybe buy herself a drink. Everything's lined up ready for you on the hook to take that girl. That's the Mama San doing her job properly and she's going to get 25% kickback. That girl's going to charge you more than normal because the Mama San's already indicated this is a very good customer, charge them more. Two girls, charge them more. Special requirements, charge more. So the Mama San's are scoring you. They're working with all the girls. It's like a pack of wolves in a really well run go-go bar. Everyone is working as a team. Their object, their objective is to get as much money in their pockets and the bar's pocket at the end of the night. If all those top girls are already out and you come in and you're the golden egg, the Mama Sam will stall you. She already knows in her head one of the girls is back in 20 minutes, half an hour. So she'll put lots of her girls all around you to G you up and give you a great time and keep you happy, keep you in the bar. She's just buying time. And then the girl appears, Mama's hand straight onto her, puts her straight on the stage in front of you, then all the girls will suddenly dissipate, psh, gone. There you go, there's your girl in front of you. Mama's hand will come and tell you, oh look, there's my top girl. She's incredible at this, this and this. You might go in and want, um, is there any, but, a virgin, farm fresh girl, possibly, but she's had 10 Thai boyfriends before. <laughs> you might have that requirement, or the fantasy. Mama Sam, as soon as you mention that, oh, price is going up. And she'll line those girls up, ready in front of you. And she'll even come and tell you, oh, this girl's this, this girl's this. It's all about getting the money out of your pocket, keeping you in the bar, getting you with one of the girls from this go-go bar. If you come in as a bunch of lads and you're partially drunk, um, the Mama San immediately knows you guys are just there for a bit of fun to have a few drinks. So she'll give you a good time. She's lining you straight next to the dancers, lining within two feet of them. You're on those seats, you know the seats, right at the front. She might even throw the balls, free balls again on the, just to get the girls all jumping around. And she'll get the drinks going with you guys. She'll try and, uh, if you buy a beer, no problem. You buy vodkas and things, she'll get the barman to put extra vodka in. She wants you guys to stay in the bar and spend money. She knows you're not gonna bar find a girl, but she's gonna try everything she can to get you to buy more drinks in that bar and not leave. Then when the bar's full of customers and there's a queue outside trying to get in, you'll be the first one she gets rid of. <laughs> she'll be trying to push you out. <laughs> That's how, how will she push you out? She'll put 10 girls all on you, begging you for ladies drinks, just to cheese you off, and then you'll be up and gone. Next people coming in. 
everything that happens in a really good go go bar is orchestrated by the Mama Sons. Not the owner, not the barman, barmaids, cashier. It's the Mama Sons that run that go go bar. And they'll do every trick they can. Is there ways of you saving money? Yes. Find a go go bar that's only got one Mama Son who sat at the back, miserable just telling the girls how to do when it's their turn and the mama son that doesn't approach you those mama sons are they're not the, the top mama sons they're not going to hassle you they're not taking a kickback from the girls so you negotiate with the girls you can negotiate the price down there's no kickbacks that's how you'll get yourself a better deal but you'll find that the better looking girls are in those successful go-go bars. Word spreads fast around the scene when there's a mama son who's really good, who lined you up with work, those girls are earning a lot more money because of the mama sons. If the mama son has her favorites, they will earn a fortune, but the mama son will as well. There you go, that's some information about the Mama Sans and the Go-Go Bar. I might do one on the Beer Bar Mama Sans. I should do. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, there you go. Before I finish this video, I just want a bit of a, a shout out and for you guys to go and have a look at a website. Um, Paul Francis has got the Go-Go Bar Hopping.com gogohoppingbar.com I'll put the link below <laughs> um, this website Paul's just done a feature on this channel but in there in his uh, website is a lot of really good information and uh, well worth a look so I thought I'd give him a mention and thanks Paul for the write up I'll see you guys all on the next video bye for now